Today we are going to do this isometric problem, first problem in the solution book. Get the same problem we are going to do using uh, solid software. Okay. So here first uh, I'll take here draw uh, an extra line like this. Okay, the first thing. So after that, first we are going to construct this cube. Okay, cube having uh, sides of dimension 50. Okay, so here. So from this end, I'm start. So length 50, angle you should remember. First angle 30 degree. Key okay, length will be giving 50. Le angle will be 150. Again, length is 50. Angle will be 210 degree. Okay, then finally we will move here. Okay, the base we have constructed, the base of the cube we have constructed. Now vertical height you have to give. So vertical height also it is 50. Okay, it is done. So now using again on all the four corners we have to construct. Okay. 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 After that, we have to join it. Okay. So this completes the cube. Okay, this completes the cube here. Yeah. Now here above it, above it, we have to construct a sphere. Okay. So well, what we have to do here is uh, this sphere actually it is existing. Uh, no, it is exist in your uh, true scale. Okay, true scale. It's not in the isometric scale. So that means first I'm going to convert this into ISO. Okay, this cube. Then after that, so I will put 30 degree here. Okay. So first we are going to convert this into ISO because the sphere has to be constructed in uh, the uh, true scale. Okay. So here in scale we will give 0 0.816. Okay. So it will get converted into ISO scale. Now by taking the center, first, first we find out the center of this cube okay, from the middle points. So, If from this height we will be giving say here so it is having a, a diameter of 25 means height is radius of 25 means height of 25 you have to give from this end so height of so so here directly here we get height of 25 so from this end from this end exactly here so we are going to construct a circle okay so before converting iso we will take the center point here two lines here so here height how much weight 25 also can see that so we can also do it. Now you convert into uh, isoscale. Isoscale of 0 0.816. So now you have to draw a circle here. Exactly by taking height is here. Taking height of 25. Now we are constructing a circle of diameter 50. See that this uh, circle has to be in actual scale. Okay, if we measure dimensions, so it is 50, right? But this it is less because it is in ISO scale, this is in true scale. Okay, now we will remove which other things uh, which are uh, not required to us. Okay. So, you have to remove. so this completes the uh, the first problem. So the sphere it is in actual scale, and the cube is in the iso scale. Uh, this on this cone we have the hemisphere. 
So the flat circular phase of it, it is facing upside. So how to do it in uh, solid software? I'm going to show you. Okay, this problem. Now here, yeah. first we have to construct a cone which is having a base diameter of 60. That is, we have to construct a box of 60 by 68. Okay. 60 angle 30, again 60 angle 150, again 60 angle 210 degree. So this completes the box of the cube, box of the cone. Now we have to construct so this uh, base of the cone, right? So it is done by 4 r by center method. So how to do the 4 r by center method? Just see it from this middle point. So from this corner point to here, the lines we have to draw exactly at the middle. Opposite end. Opposite end. So now we have to construct an arc shape. We will be taking this length from this reference point. Taking this length. Okay. Again, we are taking this as a length. Then again, taking this as a reference. Taking this length. So this. Again, this is a reference, taking this length, we have to construct this. So this is how we construct the uh, ellipse, okay, using 4R by center method. Now we will take the center point to construct the uh, height. You can see that the height we have to do, the height it is given, x is 15. So first we draw, uh, so first we draw the thin lines to find out the center of the box. If so from this point, so we have to give an axis height of 50, correct? So it is 50. So now we have to join this uh, point to here. You can see that this symbol has to be tangentially, we have to connect. So this completes the this completes the cone problem. You can see that we have to construct a hemisphere now. For that, again, we have to construct a box of here, uh, 40 mm diameter. Because hemisphere having a diameter of 40 means we have to construct another box here, so which is of dimension 40. So here 40, angle 30, again 40, angle 150, again 40, angle 210. Okay. So again, again, same thing. From this end, exactly middle point, we have to join. From this corner point to exactly middle point. From this corner point to exactly middle point. And from this corner point to exactly the middle point. Corner point to exactly middle point. Now, we have to construct the ellipse using our base center point. Okay, from this end to here, connect it. Again, from this end, again, connect it. From this end to point, take this distance and draw. Again, same thing, taking this distance, draw. So, this completes the problem. So, now we have to draw the lower part here. See that. We have to take this distance and draw. Okay, so for that, I'll be drawing. We have to find out the center, right? Center of the box. Okay. So from this point, so we have to draw another arc here. So from this middle point, taking this distance is a radius. So we have to think. Exactly the
ठीक है